Hey, all you loose bottoms out there. My name is Dallas Dubois, and you are watching Fear TV. I am here in a sneak peek, a behind-the-scenes look at Hell's Kitchen's newest bar opening up called Industry. The owners are Bob Pontarelli and Stephen Hyten, who also own Elmo, the eatery that's in Chelsea, in the biggest hotspot any late night, as well as Barracuda, of course, and the legendary Crow Bar. Stick around. We're going to give you a nice little inside scoop and talk to Bob Pontarelli himself. And I am here with co-owners of Industry Bar, Bob Pontarelli. How are you, Bob? I'm great. How are you doing? Con very good. Congratulations. It is insane and amazing in here and beautiful. What an achievement. It's like a mix of raw, um, industrial, and meets kind of beloved vintage, a little retro as well. Yeah, we, you know, the kind of the fun part about doing this was that we, uh, we worked with um, architectural reclamation from uh, all over the, really the world. We sort of scoured the internet and um, traced things down. And so a lot of what's here has been in uh, other buildings and factories and vintage um, uh, warehouses and stuff. And we pulled it all together and this is it. Yeah, it's kind of reminiscent of a little bit of Berlin. Like I saw you actually had written that, and I was in a bar recently there in Berlin. I was like, this looks a lot like those same types of spaces. Yeah, there were, you know, it's funny. I was in Berlin uh, last October, and a lot of people know there's a very, very famous club there, the Bergen, which, uh, well. which, which is you know amazing. And I came back and I wouldn't it be great to have at least some of the elements that they have. We're, we're lucky, you know, the, the the space itself was an old parking garage, which um, I think is unique for. Uh, it gave us a unique opportunity to kind of play with and and. Uh, mess around. I think it makes it kind of different than other things that are out there. And there's a big stage, which I have to say is the largest stage in New York City uh, that I've ever seen and performed on. And you're going to do some shows and stuff as well? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, the, the stage, you know, we had some of our, um, our friends come in and give us uh, guidelines about what they would like. So we have multiple entrances and exits and steps, and as you were here for some of that today. And, um, I have no idea who you're talking about either. Shaquita. Yeah, either does she. Is that one of my balls you're asking? No, it's one of the vintage lights here at Industry Bar, which has just now told me that this is from an old Brooklyn um, ice skating rink back in the day in the early fi in the um, 1950s. And this is w just one of the few things that you're going to see here at Industry. Everything has been custom made or imported from around the world. There's there's glass from Berlin a Berlin factory. There's old uh, lights from a theater in Spain. Got a little snake skin. Three quarter cap. <laughs> the leather has been taken right off of Sherry Vine's face. Yes, yeah, so like this is the dividers. This is going to separate different rooms. They have about six rooms total, or six different areas that you can kind of go in and out and, and peruse and cause a little bit of chaos and, and, and havoc throughout. It, it, it's it's just such a nice blend. I mean, I guess I can imagine some Chelsea queens coming over here wanting to meet some Hell's Kitchen boys they met on Grinder and just get, getting down and dirty over here on this place couch, which um, is probably worth more than myself and all of my drag combined. And finally, the back room. Not the real back room that all of you loose bottoms are used to, but a different type of back room. Come and follow. So, so like I said, there's t six different areas that you could pretty much choose your fancies to where you want to go um, each and every night that you visit here at Industry. And this is a separation um, on certain nights. It won't be open. Certain nights it will be open. But um, this is the back room with a nice working fireplace, which is technically not real, but also does give out some heat and does crackle and pop. Um, so there's another whole bar in here. There's going to be plenty of tables, and this whole wall will be lined with cushions where you can have a seat, pop a squat, and have a nice cocktail, or two or four. Or if you're in my case, 14 and wake up the following morning going, um, is it Monday? And people say, no, it's Tuesday. You slept an entire day, which means you had a good night. Um, yes, yeah, so they've got TVs. They have the, the, the big old ball lamps again that we all love so much. Um, reminds me of um, Bianca Del Rio's Adam's Apple. Oh, it's been wonderful, kids. This is Dallas Dubois reporting for Fear TV here at Industry Bar, about to open shortly. But it's not going to open itself. Time's of the essence. But Mama's got to do some work, okay? Thanks for watching Fear TV. I'm Dallas Dubois. Thank you. How do you work this thing? Is this...